This week is British Science Week. That means lots of people getting started for the first time with science, engineering, maths, robotics. So I decided to make this video just to give a really gentle introduction to what makes a robot. And to help me out, Hexbugs have sent me one of their VEX robots. The people at Hexbugs decided to challenge me as part of British Science Week to build one of their robots. Here you can see I took the afternoon off, set aside a few hours to try and build it. All the pieces clipped together a little bit like Lego, meaning I didn't need a screwdriver or any screws to do anything. It was a lot of fun and it got me thinking about robotics and what makes a robot. So here is the Geek Girl Diaries introduction. What do we actually need to make a robot? Well, first of all, we're going to need some kind of body and sometimes this is referred to as the chassis. You're going to need a brain for your robot as well in order to tell things what to do. You're going to need some wheels so that your robot is able to move and you're probably going to need some motors to be able to turn those wheels. Those motors in turn will need some power and you're also going to need a controller to direct the wheels and point them where you want it to go. And finally, you might want to have some sensors so that you can detect walls so you don't run into them. Let's start with the motors. Here you can see there are two motors for this robot and they're going to power and turn the cogs, which will then in turn move the wheels around. The VEX system uses snap pieces to connect everything together, making it really simple. Here I'm constructing one side of the robot, which includes three wheels powered by a motor. Once you've built your motors into your chassis with your wheels, the next thing to look at is the brain. Now the brain is the centralized computer that powers our ant robot. And what it does, it relays signals from the controller and then activates the motors to bring the creature, or our robot in this case, to life. The motors receive the signals from the brain and they spin into action, turning the wheels and kicking them into gear. Our brain is powered by batteries and later on you'll see that this robot can actually be autonomous and you can actually change the configuration of the computer or the brain to change the behavior of the robot. Here I'm just connecting the motors to the brain. Right, let's talk about sensors. Quite often in robotics we use sensors to make a robot autonomous, which means to think for itself. You, a human being, you have five senses. Our robot at the moment doesn't have any. So we can give it a sense, uh, for example, the sense of touch by using a bump sensor. So I'm attaching an antennae to the bump sensor so that when that antennae hits a wall or a table leg or, or your leg, um, it's going to send some information back to the computer to tell it, hey, I've touched something, I've walked into something, and so I need to change direction. Right, my ant robot is almost complete. All I need to do is add a battery to the controller and start it up. Okay, probably makes more sense to put this robot on the floor to test it, but as you can see, challenge was a success. I have built a VEX robot and it only took me a couple of hours. At the moment, I've got it on a setting where I can control it with the controller, so I can tell it to go left or right or stop, go forwards or backwards. But there's also an autonomous setting on it that I can switch it to where the robot will just act a little bit like an ant or an insect. It will just move around um, trying to find the corners of the room um, and it will bump into things and correct itself, which is quite good fun to watch and to learn a little bit about how robots are able to use sensors. Hopefully you really enjoyed that and you're already thinking about how you could build your own computer. Well, don't fear, in future episodes I'm going to show you just how you can do that and program it to do what you want it to do. If you want to find out more about Hexbugs and Hexbugs Vex Robotics, then just head along to their website and you'll see all the cool kits they have on offer. You've been watching me, Carrie Ann, talk about robotics and hopefully it will give you some inspiration to get started. And remember, I'm just a mouse click away. Thank you.